friends and welcome back to Book Club with Ms. Dub. Today we are going to be reading a spooky story for Halloween. This book is called Gustavo the Shy Ghost by Flavia S. Drago. Let's get started. Gustavo was a ghost. He enjoyed do doing the normal things that paranormal beings do passing through walls, making objects fly, and glowing in the dark. But there was nothing in the world that he loved more than playing the violin. Well, almost nothing. Gustavo was secretly in love with Alma, the prettiest monster in town. But he also had a problem. You see, Gustavo was so shy that some things felt incredibly difficult for him. Ice cream. Instead of ice cream, it's I scream. He's hiding. And the worst part of it, oh. Making friends was terrifying. Gustavo had never dared to speak to any of the other monsters. He tried getting close to them in many different ways. But even when he was right in front of them, they just couldn't see him. Gustavo longed to be part of something. More than anything, he wanted to make a friend. I have to be brave. I have to let the others see me, he thought. So he decided to send a letter, a very special one. Dear monsters, I would like to invite you to my violin concert, which will take place at the Day of the Dead party next full moon at the cemetery. I would be thrilled to see you there, Gustavo the Ghost. As the days went by, Gustavo couldn't stop thinking. What if no one shows up? What if they don't like my music? What if they don't like me? Except tonight was the night, and this time he couldn't hide. But not a soul had come. So all alone, Gustavo did what he loved most, and the music made him happy. So happy that he glowed. Oh, how he glowed. Gustavo! Look how shy he looks. We're so sorry we're late. We wanted to get you flowers, but we got lost instead. And then we heard your music and we saw your glow. We really loved your concert. Would you like to hang out with us? Look, he's here. From that moment on, Gustavo's life changed and everyone discovered that even if he didn't talk much, he was the best at helping and protecting his friends. But mostly, Gustavo never stopped surprising them. And they never stopped loving him. The end. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this spooky little story about Gustavo the Shy Ghost. I hope you will click that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And as always, I can't wait to read again with you soon. Bye.